Hey everybody, Yvonne here. And today we're gonna dive into the world of website building. Specifically, we're gonna cover the platform called Framer. Now Framer has been an up and coming website builder platform and we're gonna cover different things like the features it has, pricing, and everything you guys need to know as a business owner. So let's dive right in. Now Framer has been getting a lot of traction specifically in the design world, but today I'm gonna focus on things from a business owner perspective. Now many designers rave about the product, but let's see if it meets the needs for people that may not have the design background. Framer's biggest objective and the goal behind its platform is to create a no code solution for anybody to create a beautiful design of the website. So let's see if it lives up to the hype for those folks that have a small business, but don't necessarily have that design background. Now, the question you might be asking yourself is, Yvonne, there's so many different website builders out there. How do I figure out which one is going to be good for me? So before we actually dive into Framer, I want to talk about other website builders and see exactly how they stack up. Now, WordPress is a very popular solution for those that want a really custom feel to the website. However, many times it does rely on third party plugins and unnecessary code which can make it very complicated very quick. Wix and Squarespace, on the other hand, are very easy to use. However, with a lot of their features, you can actually run into many roadblocks when it comes to customization of your guys' website. In my opinion, Webflow as the closest it can get when it comes to Framer and its design capabilities because it's also a no-code solution which has amazing design capability. However, for those of you guys that have never used Webflow, it can get pretty complicated really quick as it does have a steeper learning curve. Each one of the platforms have their own strengths and weaknesses, and this is exactly what led us to Framer, which has has a balance between both design and user friendliness. Now, if you do want to try out Framer for yourself, check out the link down in the description where the sign up is pretty easy. You can actually try out the platform for completely free. And once we click on the link in the description, all we got to do is just press start your site, enter the email you want to sign up with, and the activation link should be sent over to you guys' email. And boom, once you've clicked on the link in the email, all you got to do is just enter in your first and last name, agree to the terms right over here, and it should lead you to the page where you can actually build your guys' first website. So why choose Framer? Let's talk about some of the key requirements that make Framer or stand out. Number one is the fact that it's a no code solution. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know how to program and all the HTML stuff really confuses me. And majority of the time, if we want something really custom, that's kind of what we rely on. But with a no code solution, it makes it super easy for you guys to create exactly what you guys are looking for with a no code tools. The second aspect that makes Framer stand out is going to be its flexible CMS platform. Now with the CMS features that Framer offers, you can actually manage the content and the assets of your guys' website and change them out really fast. So managing blog posts and data structures of your guys' website website can be done in a very simple way without the need of a developer. And the third thing that I wanted to touch on are going to be the elegant designs that are actually already pre-built into Framer. And here's what I mean by this. For example, if we go to the section tab right over here in Framer, we can actually see how clean all these guys are. So boom, if I even go to the creative tab right over here or the media, look how clean all these are. And look, with Framer, the coolest thing is with all the drag and drop assets, they already look pretty slick, making a website have a futuristic feel to it. Here, let me show you an example. So hypothetically, I go to the media, click on animation, here. Check it out. Look how clean this looks. Right off the bat, no other website builders have this. And adding different sections to you guys' website is also really straightforward. All you got to do is just press it right over here and add it there for you. And you can easily change the colors, the way it looks, sizing, all those things right over here on the right. And when you want to change colors or anything of that nature, all you got to do is just go to the fill button right over here, select the color that you want to change, and boom, check it out. You can actually modify it however you'd like. You can have a custom feel to it. But with all these manual features in mind, what really helps Framer stay out from the rest of the pack are going to be these AI features. Now, if we want to access those AI features, all we got to do is just press the bolt right over here, generate page where it says AI. So let me go ahead and give it a prompt for an animation agency that specializes in medical device videos and see exactly what it makes. We're going to go ahead and press start and see exactly what it gives us. And boom, right over here, without me even doing anything, it gives us three different designs for desktop, tablet, and mobile. And if we take a look at it, it's pretty slick with me just putting a couple lines in. And if we want to go ahead and preview it and see exactly how it looks like when it's published, all we got to do is just press the play button right over here so we see exactly how it's going to look. The other thing that a lot of people use Framer for are going to be its beautiful templates, right? You can go ahead and scroll through them right over here and see exactly which one you guys like and you can modify it in any way fashion you guys want. Now what's cool about Framer specifically is that it has a plugin that can actually convert the Figma design into HTML with Framer and that way any design that you have built out on Figma you can easily throw it into Framer as well. It makes it much easier for you guys to go between one or another. And on top of that Framer does a really good job with different SEO tools to make sure that your website actually gets seen. Now you may be wondering, how much does this all cost? And the cool part about this is that Framer is very cost friendly. As you guys can see, if you have a hobby or just a very simple website, it can range from zero to five dollars. And for majority of you guys, you guys are going to fall into that zero to five dollar category. But for those of you that have more of a developed website presence, the fifteen dollar basic or the thirty dollar pro plan are going to make more sense. And the reason behind it is because it's going to allow you to have a lot more traffic on your guys' website and a lot more content stored to it as well. However, if you guys are working in a team, 
when you have multiple collaborators working on your guys' website, there's going to be a whole different section of pricing if we scroll down right over here. So again, for most of you guys that are watching this video, the free plan or the $20 plan per month is going to make the most sense. However, if you're an agency or you're just working with a ton of content, then from there on, we can actually scale up to a bigger plan. But honestly, if you guys are looking to any of the paid versions, the one that makes the most sense for me personally is going to be the $20 option here because you can have up to five different editors. Not a lot of people have more and you can have seven day revision history and see exactly what changes were made. So for most small teams and businesses, that's going to make the most amount of sense. Now you might be asking yourself, Yvonne, what's the catch? If this platform is so awesome, why doesn't everybody use it? And there are certain limitations that Framer does have. The biggest one is probably going to be anything with form submissions. Now for majority of the website builders out there, there are natively integrated form submissions built into them. However, with Framer, it doesn't really have that. So if you do want to have a form or a certain place where you actually collect information on the visitors from your guys' website, you would need to have a third party extension through like MailChimp or something. Now the second problem lies around password protection. Now locking down the whole website under a password is not the problem that I'm talking about. As a business owner, you may have a certain section of your guys' website that's only accessible for those that are actually paying for your guys' subscription. And the third weakness that I'd like to bring up is going to be CMS exporting. Now as of the time that we shot this video, Framer lacks any ability to export any of the CMS data that it has. This can be a huge drawback for those of you that want to have full control over all the material that's on your guys' website, making sure that it's secure. So in conclusion, if you want to build a website and you have no coding experience, Framer is going to be a no-brainer for you. With its drag and drop capabilities and the use of AI to create the initial foundation behind your guys' website, that can take you really far along your guys' website building journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Here on this channel, we make content about how to start and grow your guys' first website. But if you guys are looking for further help, we do have a service link down below that's completely free that can help with the setup of your guys' first website. I hope you guys got some value out of this and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Till next time, peace.